Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday, coming at you with 2022 Panini Prism Football. Six box, half case, pick your team, number seven. Half case from a fresh case right here. A very big thanks to this group for making it happen on a Thursday. This one we filled up straight up. Matt, you got Last Spot Mojo with the Ravens. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. So they say. All right, so this is sort of an awkward size case. I'm going to open this from over here. So there's six boxes here, six boxes over here. Let's roll the die. Let's see which side we're going to do. One, two, three for this side. Four, five, six for the six boxes in here. Good luck, boxes. And it's one. That side, this side we will save for next time. Which, I guess I'll just take this box and just move it. So there'll be six boxes for next time over here. All right, let's roll. Fair warning, there is a possibility. Uh, points are a possibility here. It generally, generally will replace an autograph, but we will uh, randomize that to one person in the group. Winner take all if there's multiple points. All right, so here we go, pick your team seven. On a very, on a very mad, 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 mad day. A March Madness action happening here. So I'm watching my uh, my UCLA Bruins. They're cruising at the half, 46 to 25. Other games in progress. 12 minutes left in the game. Tennessee 45, Louisiana 30. And just at the half, Penn State up 38 to 22. Tenth seed Penn State beating seven seed Texas A&M, 38-22. That might be an upset, up, upset alert here. Also, 12, a lot of time left, but 16 seed Northern Kentucky keeping things a little close to one seed Houston. Houston's up 41 to 36. That's not a huge lead. Hmm. Is, is there an upset brewing there? That I, I feel like a lot of people have Houston in their final fours. If not winning at all, that might be that might be a, a bracket buster for millions and millions of people. The Teddy Bruschi orange to 60. That's going to go to Karen and her Patriots. I got Lawrence Taylor, 95 out of 125. LT for RH, New York football giants. Roger with that one. There's Alec Pierce. 149, that is for the Colts. Mark with the blue horseshoes. Daniel Bellinger, and we got a Dallas Goddard red wave to 149. That's going to be for D'Lo Daniel with the Eagles. Joey Bosa, 
And Sean Taylor. 17 out of 199. Nice one. Patrick with the Commanders. There's Just Kidding Dobbins, 31 out of 225, JK. Goes to Matt and the Purple Birds. Nice little color match there. And behind CD Lamb is a Damian Pierce. Nice rookie autograph for Ryan Boone and the Texans. I feel like he got a little... Uh, you know, things went a little differently. He might have been Offensive Rookie of the Year. I feel like he had a pretty solid season. Kyler Murray and an orange Miles Garrett and a Malik Willis. It's Matthew Schraw with the Titans. Miles Garrett going to Glenn and Cleveland. We've got a mod Sauce Gardner, 30 out of 199. Brandon and the Jets. We've got Rex Burkhead to 49. Ryan and the Texans. And behind Antonio Gibson is a Chris Godwin. That's a uh, Kihun with the Buccaneers. Behind Garrett Wilson is Calais Campbell, 25 out of 75. For the Ravens. Ah. All right. Box two. Switch over to that Northern Kentucky Houston game. They're pulling away a little bit. I think they're up by nine now. While UCLA is on a commercial break here. Houston on a little bit of a run. Let's see. Let's see if Northern Kentucky can keep it close. What was the spread in that game? I, I was only taking money lines, but man, Houston was favored by almost 20 points. They were minus 19 and a half. Yeah, there you go. I see that now, Steve. Houston on an 11-2 run in the last almost five minutes. All right, box two, good luck. Gabriel Davis reveals a Drake London. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Matt Smith and the ATL, the Dirty Birds. Oh, zero bench points for Northern Kentucky. Come on, Northern Kentucky. Fireworks, Kenny Pickett, Donovan Peoples-Jones to 249, and another Kenny Pickett, base. All for Matthew Schra and the Steelers.
Donovan Peoples Jones going to uh, going to Glen and Cleveland. We got Skylar Thompson, thirty out of one seventy-five. That's for Jacob and the Dolphins. Got a Chris Olave for the Saints. That's going to go to Stephen Olson. Donovan Peoples-Jones again for Glenn. 76 out of 99 this time. Behind Chase Claypool is, is uh, Padarian Mathis. Rookie auto for Patrick and the Commanders. Got an Aiden Hutchinson for Matt and the Lions. TJ Watt Purple. 109 out of 125 for Matthew. Danian Tomlinson to 249. LT for JC. And we got Donovan McNabb, 59 out of 60 for the Fly Eagles Fly. Daniel. Vellis Jones Jr. to 125. Charles with Chicago. And Desmond Ritter for the ATL. That'll be for Matt. Was Donovan McNabb the first one to do a Campbell's Chunky Soup commercial with his mom? Although I don't think that was his real mom. I think that was a stage mom. Here's Kenneth Walker. And here is Denzel Ward for the Browns. For Glenn, Kenneth Walker, rookie silver. For Scott and the Seahawks. Got Anquan Bolden, 190 out of 199. That's for Howard and the Cardinals. And Anquan Bolden, again, this time to 225, Howard. All right, looks like, looks like the cream is rising to the top, ladies and gentlemen. Houston's now up by double digits, by 10. Anyone else making things? It is uh, Louisiana, Tennessee on CBS. Are, are they making things interesting? They're only down by five with 720 left. They're a 13 seed playing the fourth seed, Tennessee. Does this Super Mario Brothers movie look pretty good? I think it does. The animation looks pretty cute. Um, I think the other week, Mario Kart releases its latest DLC. Two more, two more Grand Prix.
Did Jay Billis say that? Jay Billis, ESPN said Arizona would win it all. I mean that the bracket, the whole thing, the whole thing's a crapshoot. Whole thing's a crapshoot. All right, we got Tony Baselli to 175. Jaguars, that'll be for Tristan and the Jags. There's Mike Ditka to 199. That'll be for the Bears, that's for Charles. And there's Brett Favre autograph? Yes, flashback autograph. Brett Favre or Favre. Let's go to goes to Kyle Mertz and the Green Bay Packers. There you go, Kyle. Thanks for grabbing the Packers straight up. It's three out of twenty-five. There's Fred Warner, one forty-four out of one forty-nine. Aaron Rodgers following in the footsteps of the uh, of Brett Favre. Favre went to the Jets too for a little bit. Steve Steve Locke, he's a Minnesota guy. When does uh, when does Aaron Rodgers end up on the Vikings for a little bit? Here's Emmett Smith to 199. Here's Daniel Hunter, 142 to 225. Vikings, Ed. Next year for two years. If, that, if that's the pattern, that seems to be it. There's Trey Hendricks. And a Romeo Dobbs jersey and auto. Nice break for Kyle and the Packers. Gets the one per case RPA. And that's out of 10. 10 out of 10. Nice. Or one of one, if we read it that way. <laughs> nice Romeo Dobbs. Rooting for uh, rooting for Jordan Love on the Packers. That'd be good for the hobby. So Chris Olave and a Kyle Hamilton color match to one twenty five from Matt. That's right, cousin only is. Are the you think the Vikings will draft a QB this year, Steve? There's a Jesse Bates to 249. There's Devontae Parker to 249. That will be for Karen and her Patriots. And a Brees Hall to 99. And a Charles Cross to 60. Scott with Seattle. The Brees Hall goes to Brandon and the Jets. Jalen Hurts, purple to 125. Daniel with the Eagles. And we got a Chase Claypool to 125. That's for the Bears. That's going to go to Charles. Hmm. But I mean, I wonder if they'll get like. I feel like there's a couple guys that can be had in the second or third rounds. That could, you know, marinate behind. Uh, her cousins for a little bit. I think that's what the my Raiders are gonna do. They might they might grab a QB. Maybe like a that Tennessee quarterback. Might get him. 
to marinate behind Jimmy G, who can teach him the system, he can learn the system and be ready in a couple years. Hmm, and the Kelman comic wasn't the right choice. Davis Mills liked to pick Aftermon would have been better. Yeah, I would give Davis Mills a run. Although, Houston with the second overall pick, I think they're going to go with a quarterback. But yeah, if you had gotten Davis Mills, he'd definitely be in a better situation, a better team than the Texans, and who knows what, what might have happened then. He at least, you know, maybe red shirts behind, if you will, red shirts behind Kirk Cousins for a season. I don't know. We'll see about Jimmy G. I, I, I actually like, I actually like his game, and, and fit wise, it's so much better just because he's familiar with the Josh McDaniel system, you know. So there's that, and I think fit, you know, like spacing in basketball, you know. We saw what happens when Russell Westbrook is on the Lakers; the spacing was just all wrong. So similar to that, I think quarterbacks just need to be a good fit for a head coach. So he's the right fit for the Raiders. My biggest concern is the injuries. Like, he's just, he has an extensive injury history. So this guy maybe missed a handful of regular season games in his nine-year career with the Raiders. So I, that just might be something the Raiders might have to get used to. Raiders fans like myself might have to get used to. Chris Olave, purple cracked ice for the Saints, Stephen Olsen. 28 out of 225, nice. There's Kurt Warner to 249 for Howard. But... Raiders' options are pretty limited. Yeah, I think Carr, I think Carr had put himself in a great spot. I think, I think the Saints are going to be it's a good spot for him. There's Sauce Gardner. Nice, your defensive rookie of the year. That's going to go to Brandon and the Jets. But yeah, Carr put himself in a good spot. There has been a knock on Derek Carr, and I don't know if it's a small sample size or how true this is, but that he does not do well in cold weather in cold weather games. Here's Harrison Smith for the Vikings. That's a 25 for Minnesota. That'll be for Ed P. But you put yourself in Nolens, in New Orleans, in a dome stadium in an NFC South that's kind of weak, where you could probably win the division fairly easily with the weapons that they have, you know? And they can beat up on the NFC South, maybe get a record good enough to have home field advantage for a lot of the time. It's good for Derek Carr. There's Marshawn Lattimore to 60. And he has familiarity with Dennis Allen, former Raiders head coach. They spent a, a year together, a season and a bit together before he was where Dennis Allen was let go. David Bell goes to Glenn and the Browns. And we have, we have sensational signatures, Dwight Stevenson. Jacob and the Dolphins. T. Higgins, Red Wave, 147 out of 149. Michael with the Bengals.
And nice. The Jamar Chase manga short print. That's like a super short print. Nice. Michael. There you go. Michael with the Cincinnati Bengals. I feel like he's had the Bengals in a few breaks or so. With not a lot of big hits, but that's a nice one there. That looks really cool. Nice. Congrats, Mike. And we got a Malik Willis orange wave. Seven out of 60 for Matthew. Now Brandon Ayuk to 199 for Sean Maddox. Pat Farmuth to 225. Steelers, Matthew. Is that a Malik a jersey match? Ryan Boone saying. Is, is Malik Willis number seven? He's number seven. Good eye, Ryan. Malik Willis, also a jersey match, Matthew. Steve Largent to 249. That will be for Scott and Seattle. Are any of these underdogs making it interesting? Houston's up 55 to 48. And still kind of close with 348 left. Tennessee's only up 54 55. And then second half's just starting for UNC Asheville playing UCLA. UCLA is cruising. And uh, Tennessee Penn State, second half just started. They're up 43 26. 43 27 now on seven seed AM. So there's a little. A little minor upset brewing there. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit here. That's when you know it's been a busy week. Ah, hi, Brittany. Oh, she's in Rochester. Oh, no. Did the call. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. Well, hopefully. Hopefully it, it, it plugs and plays well. So let's, let's hope for the best there. But at least she's getting a call. That's good. Half the battle. Uh, send her, uh, send her my best wishes, Steve. Yeah, no problem, Steve. No problem. All right, second to last box. Is there a red zone for for this March mat for this madness here? All right, we got reach for the sky, green scope sky more. There's a snake in my boot. That's gonna be for Pierre with the Chiefs. Where does this guy end up? Lamar Jackson. Yeah, here he is again. A little color match right there. 16 out of 125. Uh, 
That's for Matt and the Ravens. Uh, I think Kentucky's, Northern Kentucky's running out of time. They're down by nine with 150. I don't think Houston's going to blow a nine point lead in the last minute and a half. Unless, well, if Northern Kentucky hits a three here, it'll be really interesting. Deep three. No. All right, there's George Pickens, cracked ice. Oh, there's the number, 91 out of 99. That's for Sean Maddock. And we got a Troy Anderson to 75 for Atlanta. Got a Peyton Manning to 175. Peyton goes to Mark in the Blue Horse Shoes. Malik Willis goes to Matthew Shira and the Titans. Jeffrey Simmons reveals a Jamal Charles. Sensational signatures autograph for Pierre and the Chiefs. Twenty three out of ninety nine. There's Jair Alexander to two twenty five for Kyle and the Packers. Yeah, can't I mean Northern Kentucky or Houston was minus nineteen and a half. They're gonna win this game, but Probably too close for comfort. Let's see if Louisiana is going to make anything interesting. They're down. Well, Tennessee's up 54-48. So, but they've got more time. They've got two minutes and 29 seconds left. There's Devontae Parker to 199 for the Patriots. That'll be for, uh, for Karen. We got a Jarvis Landry for the Saints to 225. That's for Steven. I think I I have I think I have UCLA beating Houston in the final four. But yeah, if if teams need a scouting report on Houston, they might have they might just be able to watch this game. There's Tariq Woolen to 249. That is for Scott and the Seahawks. Uh oh, 156 out of 249, Miles Garrett. What happened here? Miles Garrett for Glenn and Cleveland. Did Tennessee turn it over? No, Louisiana fouled. That's not what they wanted to do. That was not the plan. Davis Mills, 7 out of 49. That will be for Ryan Boone and the Texans. And we got a Donald Driver, 75 out of 99. That will be for Kyle and the Packers. I feel like Cade York and Jalen Naylor are always right next to each other. Last box, pick your team seven. Oh no, another foul for Louisiana. Giving the ball right back. 
Maybe no upset here. UCLA still cruising, 61 to 39. Penn State still up on Texas A&M, 50 to 34. But there's still a lot of time left there, 13:50 left in that game. I think that might be the last game of the night, right? Yeah, that's the last game of the night. Were there any other uh, like buzzer beaters today? And there was one early, not a well, kind of a buzzer beater, the uh, the Furman Virginia game where 13 seed Furman beat Virginia. A Virginia kid was trapped in the corner and then he slung it towards half court to reach a teammate. Furman player catches it, passes the ball to another kid who had been shooting terribly all day, but knocks down the shot he needs to make. It was amazing. Not for Virginia fans, but just from a casual, it was pretty awesome. And hit the three. Also, look up Furman University in Greenville, South Carolina. That is a beautiful looking campus. I mean, let me just, I'm gonna switch screens just for a second. But look at that, there's that lake in the middle with that bell tower on like a little island that looks like the 17th on TP, at TP Sawgrass. And it's a Photoshop, I mean, you know, the colors are, are, are a little too perfect in that photo, but I think it's pretty much like that. It's Tyron Davis Price, 55 out of 60. That's like in the middle of their campus, Steve. And then like dotted around there, it's all like Georgian architecture and like just amazing trees and landscaping and stuff like that. It's just, it's just like in your head what a, what a Southern college campus would look like. There's Nick Bosa, 60 out of 60, but it's like a... It's also kind of at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, I believe. So it's not one of those like coastal col Carolina colleges, but it's like more inland. It's, it's at the foothills of a mountain. So there, there can be some snow there. It's real nice. It's Young Wei Koo for the Falcons and Isaiah Spiller is. There you go. He needs to work on that, but that's for uh, JC and the Chargers. All right, we got purple. Jalen Hurts, 44 out of 125. Eagles, Daniel. Louisiana has to do something now if they want to make things interesting. That's a foul. Is that a charge? A block? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a Garrett Wilson. All right, Garrett Wilson for Brandon and the Jets. He makes that bucket. Here's a Alante Taylor, 92 out of 125 for Steven and the Saints. Terrace Marshall Jr. to 149. And makes the second free throw. Louisiana's only three down, 23.1 seconds left. Oh, 
I'll say it's, this one's close. Also, I'll drop the Furman University Google image search link in the chat if you want to admire the beauty of that campus. All right, second half of the final box. Good luck, everybody. Behind Drew Brees is Tony Gonzalez. Sensational signatures for Pierre and the Chiefs. Twelve out of fifteen. That sounds like the goal signal for the Los Angeles Kings. I think they're up two nothing on Columbus. Here's Buda Baker to one ninety nine. That's for Howard and the Cardinals. Yeah, we should get that into some player contracts, Mike Tower. When they sign a contract, it's like, hey, you're gonna work with a uh, an autograph. What are we calling it? An autograph designer? An autograph expert? 20 out of 225, Rashawn Gray. I guess autograph designer. Yeah. I would call it that. Like an interior designer, an autograph designer. There's Rashawn Gary to 225. What's that skinny building on this? On the lake? No, that's a bell tower. So apparently that's a replica of a bell tower. I looked, I looked it up this morning when I was, I was getting ready for work. There's Johnny Woods for the Colts Red Wave. But apparently the original campus was in, in the city of Greenville, in the city proper. And then I guess as they expanded it, they moved campuses and that bell tower was a replica of the bell tower downtown and is the centerpiece of that university. And Xavier McKinney to 249. Giants, that's going to be for Roger. No, definitely not named after Mark for this is this this university was built like in the 1800s or something like that. There's Fireworks Garrett Wilson for Brandon and the Jets. Tennessee inbounding, tick tick, tick tick. And the foul. Michael Pittman is 75. That's for the Colts. That's going to go to Mark. And the land looks like one more red wave parallel. And that's going to be Juju Smith Schuster red wave for the Chiefs. And a Brock Purdy at the end. Just like his draft position. That's for uh, Sean Maddock in the Niners. And then Pierre with the Chiefs. That's to 149. And there's Jack Jones. All card chip. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Pick Your Team 7. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.